Hello everyone, welcome back with me in the Ihua Studio channel. Previously, I have uploaded videos about how to analyze Taiguchi method and full factorial in Minitab. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Minitab to analyze the response surface methodology. So let's get started. Okay, first, I want to explain the definition of RSM. The RSM explores the relationships between several explanatory variables and one or more response variables. The main idea of RSM is to use a sequence of design experiments to obtain an optimal response. There are, the RSM can be employed to maximize the production of a special substance by optimization of operational factors. This RSM has important properties and features such as orthogonality, rotatability, and uniformity. This RSM has also special geometries such as cube, sphere, and simplex geometry and mixture experiments. Okay, now uh, we open the Minitab to start our analyzing in surface response surface methodology. Okay, this is the Minitab window. To start the response surface methodology analysis, now we click the start. We will create the response surface methodology design first. Then we select the DOE's response surface. And then we select the create response surface design. In the create response surface design window, in the type of design, I just let it in the central composite, which has 2 to 10 continuous factors. In the number of continuous factors, I just let it in 2. And we choose uh, the available designs. I just let it in the unblocked and 13 runs as a default. And just click OK. And then we go into the designs. Okay, just let it be in the default, click OK, and now we input the factors. So actually, I want to do the experiments about the effect of pressure and temperature into the rest retention time of crude oil inside the three-phase separator. Okay, first I want to input the fact variables right here as pressure. And then the second is temperature. Now uh, the minute I'm asking about the low and high values. First, I'm going to input the low, the low value for pressure is 220 PSI. The unit of pressure is in PSI. And the high value of pressure is 732 PSI. And for the temperature, the lowest one is 32. And the highest one is 68 PSI. And then just click OK. And then we select the options. Just let it be like this. And the results, I keep it constant in the default as printed results in the summary table. Click OK. And then click OK. Now we have our design right here for uh, response surface methodology. We have uh, two factors and the total runs is 13 runs. So what we're going to do next is we should run the experiment first to get the response. And after that, we input back the response values into this Minitab and then we can analyze this using Minitab. Okay, now uh, first, I should run the experiment to get the response results first. After I run several experiments, I have my results of response right here as a retention time with the unit in seconds. As now, uh, I should put it inside the Minitab again. So I put it back into the Minitab, just select all the data in Microsoft Excel file. And then we go back into Minitab in the C7 column, which is paste right here. Just right click in this shell and pass sales right here. In the description, I'm going to change it in the uh, retention time. Okay. 
Now we're ready to analyze the uh, results. Just click start again and then click the DOE, select DOE, and then select the response surface. And then we select the analyze response surface design. For the response, we select the R, uh, the retention time in the C7 column. Just click select and then we set up the settings one by one from the terms. Okay, it has been selected as the terms of pressure and term. I'm gonna let it be like this and then click OK. And the options, I just let it be like this. I just let it all in the defaults. In the graphs, I want to plot the residual in 4 in 1. And in the residuals versus variables, I will select pressure and time. Then click select then click OK. In the storage, I'm going to plot uh, fits and residuals. And then click OK. And then click OK. All right, now we have our results right here. Uh, the coded coefficients and then the model summary, the R square. And then the ANOVA. We have our ANOVA right here. And then to, uh, we also have our mathematical model as a regression equation in uncoded units and then we have a Pareto chart of the standardized effects right here and also residual plots for retention time we also have our residuals versus uh, pressure and residuals versus temperature in the response of retention time okay now uh, I'm gonna plot it as uh, our counter plot is that select the DOE and then we select the response surface and when we select our counter plot after that uh, just let it all in the default and just click OK and this is our counter plot right here okay as we can analyze right here that the slowest retention time in the unit of seconds is mostly happened in the pressure of 500 around 500 uh, or in the range of 450 to 550 and in the range of temperature of 45 degrees celsius to 60 62 or 63 degrees celsius okay and the shortest or the fastest uh, retention time is happened in the uh, lowest pressures uh, less than 200 psi and less than 30 degrees celsius and again decreasing in the highest pressures and the highest temperatures okay we can also plot our uh, surface plot uh, again click stat doe select the response surface and then we select the surface plot Okay, now we have our surface plot of retention time versus temperature and pressure right here. Okay, all right, uh, thank you uh, everyone. I think that's all I want to show to you about how to analyze this response surface methodology in the mini tab. It's very easy to use. If you use it properly and input the data properly, you will get the results you wanted. Thank you for watching my video tutorials and see you again in my next videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.